What's up? Welcome back, Shieldwall Nation. Um, once again, here's the uh, daily report. Um, now, last night, or sorry, night before last, Tuesday night, um, there was a virtual fundraiser for Joe Biden in which Obama made an appearance. Um, that helped raise $7.6 million in donations with 175,000 guests. Um, Obama did speak of an awakening among young voters seeking justice as Arizona, Texas, Georgia are identified as the next focus for the campaign. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a, a good tactic to always go to the strong op opposition's area. Maybe you can swing some votes. Who knows? It's always a good tactic anyways. Um... However, it is pretty impressive that Joe Biden has raised that much over a, a virtual um, fundraiser. However, my biggest concern with Joe Biden being in office is he's going to be a puppet. That's it. As, as you can see, I mean, I don't, I don't know how 100% accurate it is, but you can see that he's confused. There's something seriously going on. I hope I hope him and his family get through and figure it out and take care of it. But if he gets into office, he's going to be someone's puppet. Simple as that. He's going to be Hillary Clinton's puppet. Most likely. That's just, just my prediction. Um... However, with Joe Biden, he's, in fact, he's neck and neck with most voters over the age of uh, 45. But, he, but Trump does fall heavily behind those ages 18 to 44. So as, as we look at things, it looks like it's still neck and neck. It's still even, even though they, they urge a lot of, a lot of um, young voters to go out there and vote. Um, however, this is what happened during 2016 they had Trump behind in almost everything feasible but he came out winning and won pretty well it was a wasn't marginal it was a, a pretty decent win I wouldn't call it landslide but it was a decent win so we can't trust anything who knows Trump can completely demolish Biden or vice versa Biden can completely demolish Trump. We don't know at this point until all of us voters get out there and vote. Or um, the uh, Libertarian might win. Joan Johnson? Whatever her name is. She might win. Who knows? I see a lot of my friends on Facebook pro her. I still need to look into her, um, what she believes in, her, her um, ethics and morals, and learn a little more about her to really as they say, waste a vote on someone that's not the main two political parties. But anyways, um, there is this hacker group called Distributed Denial of Secrets. It is leaked, uh, has leaked hundreds of thousands of potentially sensitive files from more than 200 police departments and FBI offices across the country, dubbed Blue Leaks. The data uh, includes over 270 gigabytes worth of internal memos, emails, and personal information from police officers. Um, however, it does not un it's unlikely to reveal police misconduct, but they have put lives at risk due to potentially re uh, revealing human resources or undercover police officers, which, that's not smart. I mean, I, I, I can kind of see what they're doing, but I guess how they did it was not smart, especially revealing undercover police officers um, they actually do a lot of work and risk their lives and we don't need to personally risk their lives because um, F the police we hate police they're still good people in the police department however how far we have to pull our heads out of our asses to realize that it's true to generalize a few bad cops and say all cops are bad just because of those few is grossly mistaken and it's completely immoral um next is the socialist rifle association announced seven thousand members this week according to the last announcement sr membership has more than doubled and since march um 
they they did point out and they have quoted comically quoted um that was actually a quote from Karl Marx, even though it's often um, mistaken for Ronald Reagan. The quote says, Under no pretext should arms and ammunition be surrendered. Any attempts to disarm the people must be stopped by force if necessary. Um, and with, uh, with the different charters of the SRAs, what they call it, um, they are getting basic riflemen and marksmanship training by prior service veterans. Um, however, they're more of a, they say they're more of a socialist group. Um, they, however, can only out of those seven thousand can only field two hundred to three hundred people. Um, they do do some uh, counter protests as well, and along with them is this uh, thing that we call the Redneck Revolt. Uh, however, this is a statement from Southeast Michigan's People Defense League, formerly the Southeast Michigan John Brown Gun Club. However, the John Brown Gun Club is the more militant side of um, Antifa. So, there's that. Um, they, However, the chapter's apparent move to disassociate with the Redneck Revolt was initiated after a small cadre of members consolidated control of Redneck Revolt's national infrastructure and identity. Um, however, the Net Redneck Revolt did start back in 2016, 2017, uh, when the rural leftists became uh, involved in a crossover between the, uh, the rural uh, gun culture and anti-fascist, anti-racist um, uh, groups. Um, so, I mean, yeah, they have a good... Thing they want to try to do but they they counter demonstrate against right wing and white nationalist rallies to if you call yourself a socialist everyone's going to call you a socialist but if you start labeling people what they're not it's going to make it untrue correct um to then label the right wing as a white extremist or um white nationalist or racist is incorrect not all lefts are socialists, but the socialists that identify themselves also identify themselves with the left. But it doesn't make all left socialists. So, anyways, they do, however, the redneck revolt, however, redneck revolt, usually people say redneck. That's the South. That means they're, they're pro-gun. That means they're far right. No, this is actually a far left group. That's called a redneck. Blow your minds there, right? They, they, they're anti-right. So, I mean, they, they have good intentions to be anti-fascist, but they can't call everyone racist and anti- or everyone racist and fascist if they don't agree with something they said. Because then, guess what? That makes everyone their enemy if they disagree. Then we can't talk about things. We cannot discuss about things. And we cannot get things moving forward because now, if you disagree with me, now you're racist. You're a fascist. That don't make sense. That makes sense. Nothing. No sense at all. Um, so I, I, I really hope with everything going on, it's, I hope nothing bad comes out of it. A lot of people are saying this is the second American revolution, second civil war, categorize of both. I've heard more civil war than anything. Um, what's going to happen and frankly I can see it I'll probably make a video on that um, at a later date that from what I've seen um, but I I think if a group of Antifa which I think this is the biggest joke in the name Antifa anti-fascist and they sh they they show the most fascist actions you can possibly conceivably see um, that if a left wing anti Antifa goes against someone that's right wing, we're talking about far left, far right, not the, the not the, the the right and left in in the middle. We're talking about far right, far left. Um, if one round goes off, then another, another, and then we have a shootout and that might 
that might be the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. That might be it. And then, bam, we're in a civil war. Or it might just be an isolated issue. Who knows? But I hope it doesn't go to that because that would suck. Suck for all the, the, the innocence in between. And from what I see on the left, they don't care about those innocents. Because, I mean, if you look at CHOP, they're killing their own. Or at least killed one of their own and injured uh, two of them in an uh, armed conflict. And anyone in the area, they're extorting money, robbing, raping, sexual assaulting of some, you know, various sorts. Physical altercations. I don't know. I couldn't trust them. Because let's, let's say they, they, civil war happens years, years, and they start gaining control. I don't want to live in their area. Mm -mm. Nope. Because I don't want to be subject to their, I mean, essentially their fascist ideas. But that's, that's my thought. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, and I hope all of y'all have a wonderful day. It's almost Friday, so um, that's good news. And I hope you take care of yourself, your family, your loved ones. Have a good day.